what's already been a spectacular night of fights here in Dallas, Texas at Gas Monkey Live, world famous venue. Packed house, front to back, over 3,000 people packed in here. And his opponent, somebody that we're quite familiar with. Spot for XKO, many, many. And gentlemen, we are set for three rounds of fighting action in the XKO featherweight division. This fight is being brought to you by Hooters. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank, blue corner, trained in MMA. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in 146 pounds, with five victories and three defeats, representing one Brazilian jiu-jitsu and classic fight team, fighting out of Irving, Texas, Weston Wilson. His opponent fighting across the cage out of the Jim Ross red corner, trained in Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in 144 and three quarter pounds. With seven victories, seven defeats, he represents Molars MMA, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Eliazar Eloso Rodriguez. Your three, Aaron Menard. All right, guys, no rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves. Let's do this. Well, right there, touch of the gloves, you can see the discrepancy between height. Weston Wilson will be the taller man in all black. Elazar Rodriguez, the black and red trunks. Wilson Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Here we go. El Oso Rodriguez. Oh, that fan feels great right here over us as we're getting hot watching Winston Wilson, Eliazar, Eloso Rodriguez, round number one, five minutes each. Well, and again, with Wilson, want to see if he uses his reach and how he does with that. I'm always interested to see when a, when a taller guy fights a shorter opponent, especially with so much here. And, and Rodriguez doing exactly what he has to. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a big time. And also took a nasty shot. Yeah, that's a big time punch by Weston. He knows he's got him, he knew he had him hurt. But it looks like Rodriguez, you know, recovered. I Very, hey, listen, real smart on, on uh, Wilson's part right. by not continuing to follow that up. You know, I think Weston Wilson was telling me during the announcement, he goes, I'm 6'3". I'm like, you know what, I'm sorry. Is he, I, he is 6'3". I think he is 6'3". My God, so he is, he's just two inches shy of being a foot taller than his opponent. He is a mountain of a man. He's a very tall guy, especially to be fighting at this weight. 100 and, where are we at? 145 pounds. 145 pounds. I mean, that's, un division. that's unbelievable, right? Yep. Man. Oh, just trying to chop the legs over there off of Wist Welston Wilson here. Five and three against seven and seven. One BJJ classic fight team and Moeller's MMA. You saw, uh, oh, oh. That's a nice, nice change of exchange there and, and a hell of a punch by by both men, to be quite honest with you. Inside leg kick by the bear. That's what El Oso means for Elazar Rodriguez. Well, he really is a, a bear. We've seen him fight so many times for XKO, and he always, always brings everything he's Ooh. got. He leaves nothing behind. I'll tell you, Weston Wilson, man, he is just but it's interesting he's the poised. Way, but it's interesting to see the way Wilson holds his hands down to the side. Well, he's that tall. I mean, well, we, I understand we, you're that <laughs> tall, what have you, but it's it's almost like he's he's walking. He, he fights so upright. It, it, it just it's it's interesting. Well, basically, just watch that exchange right there. He keeps his hands kind of low when you're going against a fighter a little bit shorter than you. Don't you, disagree. Your jab, your yeah, jab is already there. Don't disagree. But the the other end of that is that with when you're that tall and you are punching down like that on a shorter opponent, you need a little bit of a wider base because right. what Rodriguez has been having luck with was knocking him off balance. Right. So you need to you need to widen the base a little bit. And you know, you see this with a lot of guys when you have the height difference. You know, you you give a little bit of room for the, uh, the shorter fighter. But the thing is, once they get inside, like Mike Tyson, those uppercuts will come and it will take you down. But Weston Wilson's doing a great job on defense, keeping the range of El Oso. Yeah, and he's, and he's mixing up his punches. Oh. That's a nice, nice, Ooh. nice uh, left he coming out because he's, he comes out of a southpaw stance. So his cross is actually a left. 
So Wilson has done, done really well. Ooh, a nice little forearm, got a forearm shiver there by Wilson on Elazar. You know, Wilson is just almost waiting for Elazar to come through, and he just, he almost holds him and yeah. then follows up with an yeah, elbow. Yeah, and, and, and that was that elbow that split the side of the eye of Elazar, if you, if you can you can see that. You know, it's great to see Elizar Rodriguez back in the XKO cage. He's been fighting all over, and rep I tell you, with representing Molar MMA, all around coaching there, and of course with one BJJ classic fight team, Weston Wilson is really showing accuracy, strong accuracy and power with those front lead, leg lead kicks. Yeah, and he's, you know, he's obviously calm. Mm -hmm. But when you have a chance as a tall man like that, that oh. I was just gonna say, when you're a tall guy like oh, that, you have to that's explode. The fight. That's, that's a one the fight. shot knockout. That's a one shot knockout. That was, he threw that from San Antonio to Dallas, man. Yeah. That is a long drive. That's a hell of a punch. A hell of a punch right there. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Aaron Menard has called a stop of the fight at three minutes, 46 seconds, into round number one for your winner by K.O. Weston Wilson. All right, my, my best Joe Rogan. We're here with your winner, Weston Wilson. Weston. Man, what a. Frozen? No, I'm. I'm already married. I'm, I'm Joe Rogan. All right, uh, Weston, just real quick. Great finish. Man, I, I, I told Antonio, I love to see a tall guy that isn't afraid to fight long against a shorter opponent and knows how to do it, doesn't let a guy get in. And I was just about to say, watch him throw something long and all of a sudden, boom, that was your knockout. Give me your thoughts on your performance tonight. Um, so this is the first camp I did away from Texas. I, when I moved out there, I didn't have like a team, so I had somebody who's in the audience right now, John Walker, Jay Walk, one of the best performance coaches ever told me to build a team around myself, so that's what I did. I got Jiva who's one of the best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu people in the world. I got Tyler Wombles out of Classic Fight Team. And then of course I have Johnny and Levi always in my corner, always talking to me all throughout camp, asking me how I'm doing, how's it going, do this, do this, focus on this. So I had a killer team preparing me for this. And it showed, did it not show? Left hand, one punch, knockout. That's what's up. Now, you're originally from Washington, right? Uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm originally from California. I was born in California. We moved around a lot. My dad worked for the DEA, drug enforcement. So we moved us all around the country in Brazil and other things. So that's how I got into MMA was moving to Brazil in high school. Um, my dad told me since I couldn't wrestle, he'd let me do MMA. And that's, that's my first taste was in high school. Well, listen, we're great seeing your performance. It's a pleasure meeting you. Love to see you again. One more time for your winner, Mr. Will. Weston Wilson, WW right there.